What up, world? Your boy Trey checking in one time. You know what I'm saying? To everybody that's been subscribing to my videos, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the support, all the love everybody was showing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I've just been busy, man. I've been in the studio all the time. Hold on, man. I gotta stop this song. I was gonna give you some little music to play in the background, but nah, man, I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> but yeah, um, basically the point of this video is to kind of share with you the process that I go through when I'm coming up with a song. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people think of me as the guy who always freestyling, always talking about how I don't write lyrics and, and blah, blah, blah. But let me state this for the record. I think it is extremely important as an artist to always be writing, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You have to stay writing to perfect your craft. You know what I mean? You got to understand, I'm 22 now. I've been doing this since I was in like first grade. I've been writing songs, short stories, poetry, all this. Like I was a published author at first grade. And I love to write. You know what I'm saying? Um, and basically, by saying I don't write and talking about all that, like I don't really mean that to be bragging. I mean that, I do that trying to train myself to become a more efficient artist. You know what I'm saying? Because no matter how big you get in music, studio time gonna always cost. So you can learn how to cut off you know what I'm saying, costs and make yourself more effective as a songwriter or individual that go in and record songs, then you know what I'm saying, you gotta find a way. But anyway, let me get back to the video, what this is about. Um first things first. A lot of times what I do is when I'm coming up with a song, like say for instance, like 15 minutes, I come up with a melody in my head. And it's like, say for instance, like, like that. You know what I'm saying? Once you got the melody in your head, once I got the melody in my head, then it's basically me putting in words with the right amount of syllables to go with the melody. So it's like I went to bed last night, nobody knew my name, couldn't sleep cause I had the epiphany that would change. Considered me a lame, strange, deranged, only thing I need is 15 minutes of fame. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Um, now, <clears throat> rhyming, rhyming is kind of easy because if you if you make songs, you already know that the rhyming that's the part. So you people learn how to rhyme first. You know what I'm saying me personally, I learned how to rhyme through just over years and years of developing my lexicon. You know what I'm saying my vocabulary is speaking. You know what I'm saying I remember being young, reading a dictionary. You know what I'm saying. Every time I hear a word that I'm like, how, what did that mean? I read, I'll go get the dictionary, go get a thesaurus, find different words that mean that word. You know what I'm saying, study rhyme scenarios, and that's how you get better at rhyming, finding words to rhyme. Like, because I know some people say, I come up with stuff that rhyme, words that rhyme, and don't even, that don't rhyme, but somehow I make them rhyme. That just become from, come from studying, man, studying. You have to actually study. I'm saying I know a lot of times when I do a song too, I also I might write like eight bars and then I might start changing lines. Like I might put the I might put like the eighth bar where the second bar should be or the third bar where the sixth bar or the seventh bar is. You know what I'm saying? It it just all depends on how you trying to put together what you trying to say. And, and really how you trying to rhyme it, you know what I'm saying? Because really with music, everybody's saying the same thing, so it ain't really what you say, it's how you say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that bring me to delivery. Now, to this day I have a problem with the delivery because I have a problem with remembering my own lyrics. That's crazy. I mean, I remember being in the studio, a producer like, man, we been working on this song for like three days. How you don't know? I know your lines. You know what I'm saying? 
word by word. How you don't know your own word? And I'm like, man, how I go? How I go again? You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? And I remember being at a point where I was thinking, like, how is it that I could sit here and I could say everything Jay-Z ever said, and I could recite everything Eminem ever said and Lil Wayne ever said, but when it comes to my own stuff, I can't even say my own stuff. Like, uh, for instance, I remember, like, it, I was, like, 18. It was, like, a few years ago. And I got like backstage tour, backstage tickets to the Rock the Mic tour. And this is my first time I met Jay-Z, I met 50 Cent, Fabulous, Snoop, like a whole bunch of artists. I was backstage with them and I wanted to, I wanted to say some lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like any artist would want to do, like I wanted to spit for them, like I couldn't even remember my own line. So I had to figure out like, what was it? Basically I came to the conclusion that I didn't know my own stuff because I didn't hear it. You know what I'm saying? I could recite all that stuff because I actually heard it on the radio or heard it on the CD going through my ears. And to me, hearing it while you saying it is completely different than hearing it when it's actually being played back to you. So basically to fight that, what I did was <clears throat> I just started taking any kind of recording device I could and I recite my lyrics on recording devices like, you know what I'm saying, a phone, a voice, memo, anything. Like, man, every time I call my phone, leave a voice message on my own phone of lyrics just so I can call it back and play it to myself so I can hear it and then critique it as an audience and then change it. And that's basically how I work on my delivery. You know what I'm saying? That's how I work on my delivery and how I work on memorizing. That's almost the same thing because the better you get at memorizing your own words, the better you can start delivering it to anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, once, once I got my delivery right, that's when I start calling up all the producers I work with and trying to find the right beat that got the right emotion for what I'm trying to say. And, and once I got the beat, that's really how I end up coming up with the hook. I use the beat to come up with the hook. But I really don't like, truthfully, I think my hooks are terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I do not think I make catchy hooks for nothing, man. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I try as hard as I can to work with producers who already have, like, a hook in mind. You know what I'm saying? Or something that they want to do so that I could just work off of that. And, you know what I'm saying, we could come together and make a better idea because my hook skills is, <laughs> for real. Um, um, but really, that's all to it, you know what I mean? Like, I get in the booth, I do my thing, step out the booth, let the producer do his thing, you know what I'm saying, as far as mixing-wise and what he gonna do, you know what I'm saying? And that be the end of it. You know what I mean? We come up with a finished product that everybody agree on, and that's it. Um, so if you got any comments or any advice, feel free to leave me a video response or put a um, message somewhere down there on the screen. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> so all you producers out there, yes, I have been listening to y'all beats. And to people who haven't sent me a beat, you can send beats to Trade underscore music 2008 at yahoo.com or um uh all you artists who want me to be on feature on your mixtapes or feature on your songs um just hit me up you know what i mean i'm ready to work with anybody you know what i'm saying i ain't no stuck up cat you know what i'm saying i just do me you know what i mean if you in la i can come to your studio or if you wherever you at, you know what I'm saying, I can send you the vocals or, you know what I'm saying, whatever, however you want to do it, we can put it together, you know what I'm saying, let's do it, let's get it. Um, oh, I do, and I do pop, I do hip hop, I do R&B, I do rap, I do comedy, just about anything musically, so it's really not nothing that you can send me that I won't be able to put something to, you know what I mean? Um, once again, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> Once again, thanks to um, everybody who's been subscribing to the videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
make sure y'all stay in tune. Stay tuned, because this is just the beginning, man. I got so much stuff that I want to share with y'all, and it just, <clears throat> I'm nowhere near done. You know what I'm saying? I'm nowhere near done. I'm writing songs. When I'm not writing songs, I'm writing songs. And when I'm not writing songs, I'm recording. And when I'm not recording, I'm recording, and I'm writing songs. <laughs> I'm saying like it, it's that serious to me, man. But um, anyway, as a matter of fact, right now I'm about to get back to the studio. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, come up with that one song, that one song to put us on the map. You know what I'm saying. So if you haven't subscribed to my videos, you might want to do that because you're gonna hear a lot more of your boy Trey. You know what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, I gotta go. I'll get back at y'all on the next video. So I guess I'll say to next time one, t.r.a.y.